Okay, is that big enough for you to see? Can you guys see that? Can you make it out? Okay. So you can see here, I picked a thermometer, not by accident, right? A thermometer is a perfect example where you've got numbers that go up, it's like it's getting hotter and hotter, and you've got numbers that go down as well, it's getting colder and colder and colder. This is the Celsius scale, right, that we're very familiar with, and like I said, zero degrees, right in there, that's the freezing point, okay? Now what I would actually like you to do is, after we're done here discussing it, I would love you to copy this into your book so you can see this idea of the number line and it going up and down, right? This above, below idea. Think about this is not complicated. We've met this idea before, we've talked about temperatures. Who's lived in somewhere really cold before? Hands up. Who's lived, who reckons they've lived in the coldest place? Can be colder than anyone in this room. Who reckons? Cameron, where, where'd you live? That was cold, or were you stretching? <laughs> You were stretching. Someone who, who lives somewhere called Aiden, where did you live? It was cold. Okay, let's come and look at that in a second. Grab your hand up. Where did you live? It was cold. Minus 11. Minus 11. That's way down here. Where was that out of curiosity? Japan. Japan. Japan can get pretty cold. It snows. Can someone beat minus 11? Anyone? Yeah? Charlie? Armenia. Yeah, where, how cold was it? Probably minus 30 or 40. Minus 30 or 40, that's incredible. And it was snowing and icing. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful weather there. Uh, Eric, can you beat that? What is it? I'm not sure. Gentlemen? That's okay, just tell us what cold is the temperature here. Yeah, how cold was it there? Minus. Yeah, you know what? Still pretty cold. Um, Christian, one more. Um, I've been to Zoom in America. Yep. How, how, how cold was it? Um, I don't know how cold it was, but it was snowing. It was snowing. It was cold enough to snow. Um, I had a friend, Fadon, we'll come to your example in a minute. I had a friend who went to um, Russia, and he, he was almost right on the Arctic Circle, and he said, uh, I said, how cold was it? He said, I don't have a number, but it was, we call it spit-kicking temperature. I said, what does that mean? Spit-kicking temperature. And he says, you spit, and on the way down, the water freezes and you can kick it. And I said, that's really gross. But also really, really cold, okay? That's way down here on the scale, okay? Fana, did you have one more example? Shh, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Mountains are very, very cold places. And they have like Wow. Okay, now, hand down to him. I'll wait for your attention, 7M. Okay. So this concept, positive, negative numbers, not complicated. Let's have a look at a little bit and see if we can answer these questions so we can work with these numbers and just not just know what they are. At what temperature does water boil? Now you guys probably know, without even looking at the graph, at the line, what temperature water boils at? Rinesh? 100. <laughs> Very good. I'm not reading that wrong. Okay, water boils. So you can, we're doing your first question together, so you're welcome, 1A. I'm reading off the graph now, right? This is not complicated. <laughs> 1A, 100 degrees. I'm just measuring there off the graph. 37 degrees. What's measured at 37? What's important about 37 degrees? Yeah, can you? It's, it's body temperature. At least body temperature if you're alive, right? Yeah. So we're warm blooded. We keep our core temperature at the same temperature all the time, unlike cold blood animals. Okay. So part B, I'm reading off. That's body temperature. Estimate the temperature, and it says estimate because. We're trying to read as accurately as we can. And which dry ice evaporates. Who's seen dry ice before? Like that stuff is sort of small, is it very good? Okay. Have a look. Look at the graph there, way down here. What's it between? Have a look at the two marks it's between. Which two marks is it in between? Yeah, it's between. Now, mark that. It's way below zero, right? So in fact, it's minus 70 Celsius and minus 80. Do you see that? What do you guys reckon? Is it closer to minus 70 or minus 80? Minus 70. I think it's pretty much closer to minus 70. It's pretty close to the middle. Maybe minus 73, minus 74. That's okay. It's just an estimate. Okay. What's measured at zero? We already pointed this one out. What's zero? Zero. Someone shout it out. It's freezing point. Very good. Last week, this is our last one we're going to look at together. It was 48 degrees in Algeria, Africa, and Minus 69, negative 69 at the <laughs> South Pole. What was the difference? Okay, now remember how I said I would like you to, in a minute, draw this if you haven't already started. Okay. When I'm trying to work out a difference, 
when I'm trying to work out a difference. If I say, what's the difference between 20 and 30, right? Charlie, you can wait. You can wait. Thank you. When I say the difference between 20 and 30, what I really mean is, how far are 20 and 30 apart? Right? And you can see where 20 and 30 are. There they are. And that difference, of course, is 10 degrees Celsius. Right? So if I want to know the difference between 48 and negative 69, I want to know, well, how far up do I have to go and how far down? Where would you put them on this graph? 48. Where's it going to go up to? It's about there, isn't it? Do you see that? Above body temperature. So I'm going to put a mark there. And negative 69 is all the way right down there, quite close to where dry ice evaporates, right? So I'm going to put the mark there. Okay. Now on your number line, on your graph, I want you to show these two and show the difference. Because I'm about to do a bit of work in here, which I want you to have on your page as well. Okay? If I want to work out that whole distance, the whole distance, right? what these numbers signify is that from zero up to that really hot temperature in Algeria, that's 48 degrees, right? 48 degrees, that's going up. Okay? But this negative 69, what it indicates is it's the same distance but down, right? So this goes down. 69 degrees. Right? So if I want to know this distance, the difference between the two, what am I going to do with these two numbers? How am I going to combine them? I'm going to add them, aren't I? That will give me the total distance, yeah? 48 and 69 together. So in fact, I need some work in here. This is question one, part B. And just like always, we want to describe, just like with angles when we're talking about reasons, right? I want to describe this. So I'm going to say difference equals, rather than just writing down a number and saying, like, what does this number come from? Okay? The difference is I'm going to add those two together. 48 plus 69. And that's going to be the difference in degrees. Okay? Can we do this in our heads? Or can we do this in our heads, can't we? How would you do this? Yeah. Wait, before you tell me the answer, Christian. How would you do this in your head? What's a nice, easy way that we can work with these numbers? Someone give me a suggestion. Okay, um, first of plus eight and nine. Okay, so you can do yeah. eight and nine, which is? 17. 17, and yes. then you can do your? Six, uh, 16 plus. 40 and 60, which is? Uh, 100. 100. Right, so? 117. Perfect. Okay. Now, we'll point out this is a temperature, right? So let's not forget to include our units there. So this idea of integers, it's new, but it's not that new, right? Like we've met temperatures before, we've heard these ideas. This is where it begins. Doing these computations, it's very, very simple to begin with. We're gonna expand this idea as we go further into this topic. So you've just done the first question.